the completion of segments of the Cavite Laguna Expressway is being hampered by problems with getting right-of-way issues resolved. Motoring Forum tackles one specific issue that needs to be resolved. How much to pay the landowner for the right-of-way. In most tollway construction projects or agreements between government and the private sector, it is the government's responsibility to acquire right-of-way for construction to proceed on schedule. This can either be the Department of Public Works and Highways, the national agency or local government units, city, municipality or provincial government. However, the experience of many public-private sector joint ventures or agreements for infrastructure projects shows attaining right-of-way is easier said than done. Many projects are delayed or remain uncompleted because of right-of-way issues for even just one portion or segment of land needed for the project. A perfect example is the Cavite Laguna Expressway project. One phase of the project that includes the construction of the Silang Interchange is more than 90% complete. The completion has been delayed for weeks now because negotiations for the right-of-way for one final piece of land between government and the property owners is in a stalemate. According to news reports, Unec Land Corp, owner of a 450-meter stretch of land needed to finish the construction of the Calac Silang Interchange, wants from 50 to 60 million pesos for the right-of-way. The DPWH said the right-of-way should be valued at just 60 million pesos. The issue over just compensation for the right-of-way is apparently now before the courts. The DPWH said it has already deposited 5 million pesos for the rights to the property needed to construct drainage systems, a bridge, earthwork, and the installation of fences and coconuts to complete the Silang Interchange. It told the courts that it was prepared to issue the remaining 11 million pesos to acquire the right of way. Silang Mayor Kevin Anarna reportedly wants a third party appraiser to determine the value of the property subject of the right of way. However, the DPWH maintains it was the most reliable entity to determine just compensation for the land subject of a national government project. Still, the DPWH said it will have no problems to pay for just compensation for the right of way as determined by the courts. Government is getting hostage by a landowner who wants more than what it is prepared to pay for the right of way. Can and should government exercise the principle of eminent domain? That may be the next step to resolving the problem. That's our Motoring Forum this week, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.